I don't think I've crashed, which is kind of insane. I think that's like a record. What is going on, everybody? Hope y'all are all doing well. Today we are at the uh, the Super Coop MX made by Hurin, and this track is pretty awesome. Honestly, I wish more of the tracks were kind of made like this. A little bit of roughness to them because this is just a lot better practice than a lot of those flat tracks it kind of it really like separates the more beginner riders from the like the pro level not that I'm a pro at all but it's definitely fun to hop on here especially with like how rough it gets I was doing a few laps and then my game crashed and I hopped back on and I guess it reset the track so all of my lines and stuff got reset, so that kind of sucks. Because I kind of wanted to show how rough it can get a bit, but... Yeah, I did a few laps on here. I think it was yesterday. And... Yeah, I was in a multiplayer lobby, so it got pretty rough. There was a lot of people that hopped on. But yeah, I was just... Getting on here, doing a couple of laps, and... I don't know, I started thinking a lot about this game and just like everything. I think as I usually do, but I feel like this time more more than usual. And then just thinking about like YouTube and all that, so. But I think what kind of started it is... I don't know, I've been playing a lot, or a good bit. Not as much as I, not at like the most I have, I guess. I think I played the most whenever I was doing streams for a little while. So I was doing at least like six hours a day or so. So yeah, I was putting a lot of time in it at that point. And also doing just more like races, like the lobby and stuff. And then I did that couple of races in the Backyard MX series. But yeah, yesterday I was playing on uh, that new MX, MX of Nations 2021 track. And I don't know, it is kind of discouraging once you start playing with, because there's a couple of the pro riders in there. And I was watching them and it seemed like they were all taking about the same lines I was. It's just they were carrying just so much more speed. And I feel like... I mean, yeah, it just is kind of discouraging, it's like, man, I feel like I've played a lot, and I should kind of be, like, where they are. But even when I was putting in some laps here a little bit ago, I just have to start, like, kind of putting it in perspective. I mean, there are some people that are out there that just play for fun and don't even play a whole lot. That's, it's pretty rare, but they just hop on here and they're, like, incredibly fast, but I know a lot of those riders are probably putting in more time and more like actually racing time than I am for sure because I'm not really doing any actual like organized racing and uh, so yeah I just kind of have to put it in perspective and not just get too down on it because I guess it would be more understandable if I was actually doing all those races and probably playing more competitively like that and I'm still not doing well but I'm not really even putting myself in that position just because I kind of just want to make content and not really that interested in doing like pro racing and all that so so yeah just trying to remember that especially whenever you're new and you just hop on here for the first time and you're playing with a bunch of people and maybe some are pros or maybe some are just fast riders in general but to try and not let that like discourage you right off the bat because I have seen a lot of people like come and go just because they're not doing as well as other people and I mean I've kind of had that same thing in the past because so I know whenever I hop on here a lot of the time I mean pretty much all the time I always feel like I have to be like the fastest one on the track and then whenever you get in the lobby with like pros and stuff or just fast people and they're beating your laps by several seconds or like five plus seconds it can be kind of I don't know it just kind of throws you off 
But, like I said, at the same time, I don't know how much they're playing and if they're racing and doing all that other stuff, like putting more time into it, like on the competitive side, then it would make sense. But yeah, just not letting that kind of get you too down and just try to have fun, because that's the whole point. If that's what you're coming here to do. I mean, some people want to take it to that next level, but you're going to also have to do what those other people are doing, which means practicing a lot and also racing a lot with other fast people and so you just have to put in the work but also kind of the same thing it applies to like everything but same thing with like YouTube as well like trying to make content and obviously trying to make stuff that people like can be can be difficult. I know in a lot of the videos that I make there's always stuff that I want to talk about or I'll go back and watch a video and I'm like man I wish I would have talked about this or brought this up. So I'm sure in this video I already know that there's things that I kind of forgot to mention and and whatever but at the same time that's just kind of how it goes. I don't want it to be like written out like a script and just come on here and you know, just read it off. I want it to kind of be more genuine. Where I'm actually just saying kind of what comes to my head. It's good to have like bullet points though. To kind of keep it organized, but... There's a couple that I'll do, but... But yeah, even at like the small... Like I do like the community like my channel is created and stuff but I can kind of understand it's really the same no matter what like where you are on YouTube like if you're larger or smaller and you're not if you're creating stuff and it's not just like taking off or it's not doing as good as it was in the past I mean I don't know if that's always the content or just how YouTube works but at the same time, like the stuff I've been creating, I started out wanting just to make just lap videos. Just because I didn't really know what to come on here and talk about. And I still don't really feel like I know what I'm talking about. I just kind of say whatever that comes to my head. But, um, but yeah, I kind of enjoy these more. Like doing videos like this where I can just come on and talk. So hoping at some point I can kind of get better at doing it and maybe be more like helpful and stuff with what I'm saying but yeah just trying to ignore like whenever you're creating content for people it's you're just creating anything like a product or whatever it's easy to get caught up in like oh how many people are buying this or how many people are looking at this or liking this and all that stuff so you definitely have to take a step back and remember that it's not just about that. Because I know when I started, I didn't have anybody, like hardly any views. And I was just making it just to make it because I like playing this game. And it was kind of fun to do some editing and that sort of thing. So just not focusing on all of that and just try to play the game and keep making stuff. And enjoy it. And not trying to like just cater to what you think people are wanting and stuff because then you lose sight of what it is that you were trying to make to begin with because if you're just making stuff to make other people happy and you're not enjoying it then you're not really gonna keep doing it you're not gonna want to keep doing that so so yeah I don't know I'm just kind of rambling about some of the stuff I was thinking about but because a lot of this is really for me but I'm sure there's some people out there that it can can help if you're doing like YouTube or whatever just playing this game just don't don't try to compare yourself to everybody else or anybody else unless you're just trying to learn and get better but don't like 
let it bring you down to the point that you just give up on whatever it is. You just have to remember what it is that made you start in the first place. And for me, that's just creating, just creating content in general that's somewhat entertaining, but also just to uh, kind of help out. I've actually been riding pretty well. I haven't really been paying attention to the lap times, but... Yeah, this track just flows really well. I like these insides. The corners are great. And the roughness of it isn't just like... It like makes sense, I guess. Some tracks, they have like these bumps that just feel so out of place. Sorry if you guys hear my dog. She's been barking. I don't know if it's been pick picking up on the mic or not, but... Yeah, this is just, yeah, this is a great track. I'm sure some of y'all have already spent a good bit of time here. It's also hard to, uh, kind of keep up, because I've been trying to make videos of some of the older tracks that have come out, but also trying to keep up with the new stuff, because man, it seems like there's a lot of new tracks. Not all of them I'm going to review or go make videos like this about, but there is just a lot of new stuff. It's like there's no videos for a couple of days, and then there's like three videos in one day. Or not three videos, but three tracks come out. So it's like, crap, now I gotta check those out and try and get some laps in and then do all this stuff. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time. I try to try to have some bit of practice on it beforehand. Something I've also noticed, which isn't just like super, uh, it's not based on like great data, but I've kind of noticed whenever new tracks come out, I seem to pick them up like pretty good off the bat, but then like a few days or a week or two go by and it's like, then everybody else like, I'm doing pretty good, like, lap time-wise and stuff, but then everybody else, like, I don't play it as much. Or I just don't find the best lines or something. And then it seems like everybody else starts getting a lot faster. And then I'll eventually catch back up, but... I do seem to pick up new tracks, like, pretty quickly. Compared to other people. But then usually people start passing me after a few days. So I don't know if that's just a time thing, or maybe it just takes other people a little bit longer to figure it out, but... But yeah, you can kind of tell. It's sort of hard to... It'll definitely get a lot rougher. I don't know. I don't think I'll put in enough laps to really do it justice. But yeah, whenever we were playing here the other day... It was pretty wild. Like, it started out pretty smooth. I was like, oh, this is easy. And then once it started breaking down, it definitely made it more challenging. Which is awesome, though. I like this. Because I like that it kind of creates a skill gap of peop like uh, between like newer riders and more of the advanced ones. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here, but hopefully that was somewhat made sense. It always kind of makes more sense in my head, and then I'm not like the best at verbalizing, I guess, what I'm thinking. Like it always sounds a lot better in my head, and then I try to like explain it, and I always feel like it doesn't come out as well, but hopefully that helped anybody in some way with maybe their journey through this game or possibly through like YouTube or just in general. Definitely kinda, I feel more comfortable just making videos and talking so that's good. 
sure it'll take some more time. Get a bit better. I don't even think I've crashed, which is kind of insane. I think that's like a record. I was on here like just before recording this and I was going down still. I haven't even I don't think I've even gone down yet. Maybe. But anyways, um, yeah, y'all just have a great rest of your day and your week, and thanks for listening to my all-over-the-place rambling, and <laughs> I will catch y'all in the next video. Take care, everybody.